ensure that you touch down slightly tail low and use aerodynamic and mechanical braking to slow the airplane after landing. Begin the slip by simultaneously providing aileron input to lower a wing, full rudder input in the opposite direction, and forward pressure on the yoke to lower the nose. Many times, a field that may have looked ideal for a landing site ends up having obstacles or hazards that you couldn't see from a distance. However, there will be those instances where a forward slip to a landing, done correctly, can get you back on the appropriate approach path safely and effectively. With pastures, you won't have to worry about furrows, but you may have to contend with livestock. And although there may be no livestock to contend with on the fields in which crops are grown, you will have to pay attention to which way the land is tilled. Now that the pattern direction has been determined, you must figure out the appropriate entry heading. Once the airplane reaches a position at which the landing point is at a 45 degree angle behind you, it is time to turn to the base leg. Therefore, it will be necessary to increase the right rudder pressure continuously throughout the setup in order to maintain directional control. If coordinated flight is not maintained as the aircraft stalls, it is possible for the airplane to yaw dramatically and enter an inadvertent spin. While it's not on the checklist, this is also a good time to secure any loose items in the cabin that could become flying projectiles in the event of a sudden stop. Like so much of aviation training, pilots spend a lot of time becoming proficient at things they hope they never have to do. Thank you for choosing Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University as your launching point for an exciting and rewarding career as a professional pilot. You will be joining an elite group of pilots from all around the world that are proud to say they are Embry-Riddle Eagles.